So going back to the spiritual awakenings, um, that is the reason why I was not retaliating violently, you know, to this guy, because I mean, I can punch, I can elbow, but pretty much every single part of my body can, can hurt somebody. You know, and if it gets to the ground, you know, you got jujitsu and all that stuff. And uh, so I can fight in any range. But do I do it? No, of course not. That's why you have the studio. That's why you have the dojo. Yeah, that's why you have the mat. You practice there. You, as, as I heard this term before, you know, you're rehearsing murder over and 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 over. And, and if you're not going, holy crap, I could really hurt somebody with this. You might not maybe you shouldn't be messing with those kinds of powerful weapons because these these are weapons you know and um elbows and shit you know they're all marked up and I, i'm putting lotion on it so they can <laughs> clear up because it was like a big old bruise like here you know you can see this just bruise you know and like i have mutilating my body you know just so you could take more punishment and whatnot but I don't know if I was necessary, but I'm like, uh, shit, I've hurt myself training myself. What are you going to do to me? You know? Uh, so that's that's the stance I, I took with this royal asshole. He tried to push me around because he's so a brown boy, you know, sitting when he didn't, I he didn't want me, I guess. He didn't want me there, you know. Anyway, the whole point is that meditate. That's the point, because I'm going through a spiritual awakening, and it's hard as hell. And the one thing that is actually getting me through everything is meditating, you know, and self-care, as they say these days. Really, self-care is just saying, you're first. You are number one. And not in a considered way, more in the way of, if you're the center of the universe, or if you are your own universe, which you are, doesn't it make sense that you should be aligned to the best things and put yourself first, put yourself first. Like I said before in, in another video was that, you know, Monday through Friday we go to work and we seldomly take care of ourselves. We, we do the things necessary to get us to work, like drinking coffee, you know, but then we don't eat breakfast, you know, or if you are anything like me, I used to always eat really, really good during the days where I work, when I work, because I wanted to be at my best. I wanted to be at 100%. But then my days off would come around and I wouldn't do anything, like for myself, to take care of myself, to get me moving, to get me going. It's like, fuck it, I'm not doing anything. And basically, you put yourself last. So basically, you... You take care of yourself and you feed yourself what you need to feed yourself, you know, so your body can run, so you can perform at work. But then when you have for, you know, you're in your own time, you don't do the same. You don't take care, you don't, um, you don't place as much importance on you than you do by performing at work, you know, with work performance, you know. So there's a discrepancy there. And that tells us, you know, hey, we're our self-esteem and our self-worth is not necessarily up to par where it needs to be because look I'm putting everything in front of me everything and I come last everything in front of me and I come last so if you are falling apart let's say you have a really bad night you couldn't sleep or so or maybe you're worrying and shit about money and things like that you didn't get any sleep and then the next morning you go at it again and you're in pieces and you're trying to handle business, how much do you think you can handle? It's going to be horrible. You're not even at 100%. You are at 10, 5%. You want to handle everything in life like that? I mean, it's like the sea bass, or I'm sorry, like the, like the um, salmon, you know, just fucking swimming upstream to end up in the mouth of a beast. <laughs> That's basically what's going to happen. You're going to wear yourself out and somebody smarter, bigger, and more powerful than you is going to swallow you whole because you don't have the inner strength to continue. So, again, what makes sense is that you put yourself first. 
you know, whatever you need to do to get you going. For me, it's going outside, going out in nature. Nature is medicine. This is one of the reasons why everybody's keeping and being kept away from nature. Okay? Now they tell you that, oh, like that asshole uh, that I told you about that wanted to fight me because uh, I was feeding the animals. You're not supposed to feed the animals. Fuck you. Who says that? Who says that? Where, where is, where's, this, where's the sign that says don't feed the animals? What, what is this, a fucking zoo? It was a beach. You know? So it's, it's one of these things where uh, we have turned away from the natural world. And the natural world is just saying, come on, come over here. Come over here and, you know, feed yourself. Feed from nature. Basically, being out there feeds you. Feeds all of you. Your soul. But not only that, your cells. Think about the sun hitting your cells. What do you think is going to happen? A lot of great things are going to happen. But they have told you that the sun is dangerous. I'm not saying go out there and just, you know, get burn to a crisp i'm saying yeah use your you know uh what's it called sunscreen and stuff like that if wear hats you know like i do i wear a big old hat because i don't want to burn my face you see this these marks i got them from um well i could say that i was cursed by my ex or i could say that it's because i worked at the beach for more than 20 years you know <laughs> close to 20 years I guess uh, without any sunscreen and everything but I never had anything you know like stains like this happen until the last few months of my my marriage um, I think I was being poisoned or something um, I was marked by this whole the whole situation and you know and what when I mean marked is let me give you an example. For instance, is, uh, if you've seen Poltergeist, uh, when the mom goes to the other dimension, you know, to pick to get to get the daughter back, her daughter back, you know, and when she comes back and falls through the hole, you know, and everything, and she's all full of slime and everything, you notice that there's a big white patch on her hair. Those are the marks when you've been in a huge spiritual fight you become marked so I like I said I worked for years in the Sun and I never had these things until I started getting into crazy fights with my ex because of her you know miss uh, missteps you know, uh, I didn't know then I had a feeling and then it was confirmed and that's when I decided I'm out he's after 24 years, I'm out. It's because, what is this? You decide to throw everything away after 24 years for 30 seconds of glory? <laughs> That's what I always said, you know, because uh, I've always worked in a glamour. Uh, you could tell, you could say that it was it's a glamour field, you know, it's like fitness. You know, I used to be a trainer and I used to, uh, it's a glamour, a gl glamorous, uh, I guess, um, uh, career and uh you know my ex thought that i was cheating and stuff like that it's like when a cheater cheats they think that everybody cheats you know but my my point is that i used to say 30 seconds of glory doesn't merit me throwing away all of my marriage and scaring my daughters you know, and so they end up in front of Paul <laughs> or end up in Jerry Springer. That's what I used to say. I don't think it's Jerry Springer anymore. But uh, that's, that was my goal. As long as my girls don't end up in Jerry Springer, you know. Uh, unfortunately, they have been through the ringer with this divorce and whatnot, you know. And uh, you have somebody who is completely oblivious of any spiritual paths and whatnot. And... Um, still uses a lot of um, egocentric uh, tactics you know like you know very narcissistic very um very nasty person you know and uh, that's why i you know obviously when you're trying to be an angel and you're hanging around with the devil I mean, there's some changes you need to make <laughs> um yeah so um with that in mind i will say goodbye but i will talk to you on the next um in the next video. We'll just keep it going like this, okay?